Black Ass Talk with Chris. Alright, so it's Black History Month, and I ain't gonna waste no time getting into the topics and issues that we as black people deal with. So today's topic will be about black on black crime. In the black community, we need to be more unified. We need to be more aware of our own doings. Well, not our own doings, because I don't do it. I feel that, because I don't really take Black Lives Matter seriously, because a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of people try to associate it with, you know, it's one thing of a person who's truly innocent, and then it's another thing if you're trying to associate it with a person who robbed five liquor stores, shot up three nightclubs, and then, you know, the police ends up shooting that person. That was just to serve, and I don't care what color the cop was. That's just justice being served. That's one thing a person was truly innocent, and, you know, they just got caught up in something. Now, I, I, I would protest and fight for that, but not for a nigga that shot up three nightclubs, got five different baby mamas that he probably done beat up on. No. You know, black on black crime is serious, you know. A lot of black people in the community try to tear down each other, try to keep one from doing good just because that person does not have nothing, anything going on for them. You know, I feel that it's you know, it's something to be looked at. Now this, you know, now if you just, now I'm not going against my own people or cooning, you know, it's something that is really serious that needs to be looked at in the black community. You know, because Black Lives Matter isn't as strong as the Black Panther movement. Nor do I think it will ever be. Because back then like in the 60s and 70s black people was more unified nowadays we're so disunified again a lot of black people if, you, if they see somebody another black person doing good they will try to do everything in their power to get that person come for that person's riches when you should just be happy you should be trying to uplift your own people um, you know, that's just, you know, it's to, and you know, this thing about killing people over, um, stupid stuff like a color, like, uh, you know, the white man does not see, um, what you do as being a soldier in the streets. You know, quit trying to die for some streets that's not willing to, um, bury you. Once you die, all you gonna come, all your face is gonna be on a um, R.I.P. shirt. But none of them people is gonna try to um, bury you because funeral expenses is uh, very um, sorry, it's very expensive. So, um, like I said, these white people don't see. Oh well, Mookie had to kill Ray Ray because you know that's what soldiers do. This, you know, we in the streets. These streets is real. They don't see that. They just see another nigga killing another nigga. And you will just be another black motherfucker shot. You know, you have to really think about it. Our culture, our ancestors, our history is not built off that. And I feel that we should be more unified. Black on black crime is very serious. And it should not be taken lightly. Now, of course, if you're not the person that's doing it, then you should have no problem with what I'm saying. But if it is you doing it, then shut up and listen up. Because there's a difference between black people and niggas. 
I'm a black person. Do I have nigga moments? Of course. However, you know, a nigga is a person who just terrorizes the whole neighborhood. And they have no problem. That's what non blacks should not hang out. I mean, non niggas should not hang out with niggas. Because niggas do not care about your life. They will ha have you take. They will do not care about ruining it, nor do they care about um, taking your life away from you. Or taking somebody else's life to have your life taken away. You know, like I said, black on black crime is very serious. And if you're not going to um, take care of that in your community, then Black Lives Matter isn't really, you know, a good movement. I understand it, but it can't be just because a white man shot a, a black person. You know, and I'm not racist against my own kind. Because I think racist people is the scum of the earth. This ain't for... If you're on here trying to um, use this as a way to be like, oh, you know, yeah, black people don't like black people either. No. You know, so I, I don't advocate racism. I'm just coming to you as a person who wants to see change. All right, until then, this has been Chris with the next with Real Black Ass Talk. Stay tuned.